Okay. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I will talk about some print algorithms where, uh, by the diagonalization technique. This work is uh, co-authored with Martin Jagan from uh, Geneva University and Liu Jun from USA and two Chinese uh, cooperators. <coughs> okay. Uh, I will talk about uh, uh, two paradigm algorithms. The first is uh, direct standalone uh, source, and uh, uh, for the se for the second kind of paradigm algorithms, there are three variants. Maybe this time I can only talk about the first uh, first first variant, the waveform relaxation variant. It's based on the waveform relaxation method. Okay. We consider the uh, uh, OD system, the OD, OD system with, with initial condition. So uh, suppose we use the backward Olam method with the variable step size for time discretization, and we got those NT difference equations. The classic way to solve uh, those equations is uh, one by one, but we can also reformulate those equations as a all at once system like this. <clears throat> okay. So because because the matrix the matrix B uh, has this form and the uh, 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 diagonal elements are different, so we can we can make a diagonal diagonalization of the matrix B. And then we can solve we can solve this equation this equation is all at once system by the following following formula following formula the following the uh, following step size the uh, following uh, following three step size this is uh, I, this is the idea proposed by you uh, Mate and Zonquist in two thousand and eight. So how to fix the step size? Uh, uh, we can choose the idea, pro, uh, the idea proposed by, uh, uh, pro, uh, pro, proposed in this paper is to use the geometrically increasing step size fixed as follows. And then the eigenvector matrix of the matrix B can be written down with explicit formulas. They are topless matrix and with known elements. So for the step A and step C of the diagonalization technique, we just need to do matrix and the vector multiplications. <coughs> for, the, for, the, for, the, for the second step, yeah, for the second step, for the second step, we can solve all those NT systems in parallel. But the above two matrix worked products cannot be done preci precisely because uh, because of the zone of error arising from the floating point operations. The zone of error is related to the condition number of the eigenvector matrix V, and for a given uh, geometrical increase in factor tau, the condition number is uh, increase fast as uh, as NT. Grows for the largest NT is the one uh, uh, balance the zone of F arrow and the discretization arrow. Basically, NT cannot be large, and in many cases we found NT can only be uh, twenty to thirty. For example, we consider the advection diffusion equation with uh, the theoretical. Very precisely, and which we, we consider two uh, two values for the parameter tau. 
Look here. You see, <coughs> for the first, uh, for the for, for the for the for 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 n for n t small n t small, the the uh, the solution the solution computed by the the uh, one is uh, is uh, is very close to the uh, uh, to the reference solution, but if n t a little bit large, the error shoots up shoot up. So if so, this for the, for those two values of tau, we find uh, 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 the largest NT cannot be cannot be large. So this we think this uh, uh, this is a disadvantage of the uh, uh, standalone so on. Okay. The goal of this kind of paradigm algorithm is to remove the destruction on the on the number of uh, time steps and t uh, the first the first variant is based on the waveform relaxation equation the idea is to is to do waveform relaxation equation uh, with the head and the tire coupled condition this is the cup the uh, head and height Height and the tire. This is the height. This, uh, this is the height. This is the tire. Height and the tire. Cup condition. And the upon convergence, upon convergence, upon convergence, this term will be cancelled. So the convergent solution is the solution of the original problem. Uh, and the uh, discrete and the dis and the discrete level, <laughs> we 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 can also write down the. Uh, Different equations as a uh, all and one system. This part comes from the uh, head and the tail coupled condition. C alpha is a alpha circuit matrix, and uh, it it is well known. Uh, alpha uh, alpha circuit matrix can be diagonalized with uh, with e with x it is expressed in for, formula for the eigenvector matrix. The eigenvector matrix V is given by uh, uh, the eigenvector matrix lambda alpha times the Fourier matrix F and T. And this is the Fourier matrix. The important conclusion is the condition number of the eigenvector matrix is independent of NT and can be bounded by one over alpha. So we do not need to uh, uh, worry about worry, worry about the round of, uh, round of arrow. Like before, we can show we can show uh, the Arno vector yk by the uh, three by the three 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 steps of the diagonalization procedure. As for step B, we can show all those NT systems in parallel. For step A and step C, we can use the technique of FFT because FNT is a Fourier matrix and uh, <coughs> now the alpha is just a simple a diagonal matrix. For the linear case, we can prove the, con the convergence factor of the waveform relaxation iteration can be bounded by, uh, by a constant, by a constant which is independent of the uh, match size. It it only depends on the it depends on the parameter alpha, and uh, we see as alpha goes to zero, the convergence factor goes to zero as well. So it means the waveform relaxation is making convergent fast and fast if we use the small and small parameter alpha. We also have the optimal speed up for the proposed uh, algorithm. <coughs> <coughs> we like to check the Langdin problem. The algorithm is very similar. We just need to Modify the uh, initial only condition. 
<coughs> to a uh, to a uh, 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 head and tail coupled condition, <coughs> and at the discrete level, we can uh, we can we can represent uh, all the NT all the NT uh, difference different different equations as a uh, all and uh, all and one all and one system. Uh, he, he, here is a zone. Is uh, it should be NT. It should be NT here. The long, uh, the long lean, the long lean function, the long lean function appears here. This is a vector of long lean fact, long lean, uh, vector of long lean functions. So we, we want to show, we want to show, we want to 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 solve this all and one system by the Newton iteration method. So the Jacobi matrix of uh, this all and one system is uh, uh, is is given here. <coughs> each block, each block of this block diagonal matrix is are different, are different. So the idea to use the diagonalization technique is to re, to replace each block by the average of all those blocks. <coughs> if the long linear function f satisfies some one-sided Lipschitz condition, then the uh, the waveform relaxation, waveform relaxation iteration convergence with a, a factor like this. <clears throat> you see, the convergence factor becomes smaller and smaller if we if uh, if if alpha becomes smaller and smaller. So the key idea is to replace is to replace all the sub uh, Jacobi matrix by a, by, a, by a single one by a single one. So this idea is not always po not, not always possible because the simplified Newton method may diverge as the length of the time interval is very large. So in practice, we need to uh, 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 split the whole time time window to uh, several uh, pieces, and then we we do uh, waveform relaxation on those. Uh, a sub time window, sub time windows one by one. So here is an example. We consider we consider the Allenstorff orbit. Uh, uh, this model describes describes uh, 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 some uh, flying aircraft uh, under the gravity of two planets, such as Earth and the Moon. We can send a, a, a time interval from zero to seventeen, and uh, we direct we split the time interval into uh, thirty-four sub intervals with nonce one over two. One over two. So here is we only do one paradigm, one waveform relaxation iteration for each sub interval. So we see. This is the starting point, and uh, the gray line is uh, is the uh, reference orbit. This is the starting point, and this is the ending point. If the aircraft flying a little a little bit longer, so it will come back to the starting point. <coughs> so we have we have thirty four sub intervals, and uh, this finger we show the simplified simplified Newton iteration number <coughs> for each sub interval, each sub interval. We see this, the number of uh, Newton iteration is not very large. It only varies from four to eight. <coughs> we only do one waveform relaxation for each sub interval. <coughs> the next is <coughs> we do two waveform relaxation iteration for each sub interval. In this case, in this case, the Newton iteration number still varies from four to eight, not very large. Okay. What's the time? Time. Okay. So you we still have, could have only five more minutes. Um, maybe you Okay, like so I'd like to, want to introduce uh, uh, 
uh, parallel variance. It is very simple, very easy to understand. You see, <coughs> this is a parallel. This is a parallel. <coughs> the main point is to <coughs> is how to how to parallelize the curse correct curse correct correction, because this part is sequential in time and is often the the bottleneck of the speed up. Okay. We, this is no. This part is known from the previous iteration, so we denote it by B K. The idea is to apply the G propagate using uh, uniform stack size to a modified uh, modified uh, O D E problem. O D problem. So this is the initial condition, but we apply the G propagator to a head and tail coupled condition. Again, in each in each parallel iteration, we can represent the CGC as follows <coughs> as a, a all and one system. The F prop F propagate the information of the F propagator is contained in this vector BK. We say alpha is again a uh, 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 alpha circuit matrix. So we can do the curse correct correction uh, by the by the three steps of the diagonalization technique. So this is a survey route. There, there is a uh, there is a threshold alpha start, and uh, if the prime alpha is less than alpha star. The convergence factor of the diagonalization based parallel equals to the convergence factor of the classical parallel. It means we can we can do we can do uh, the curse uh, curse correct correction parallel in time, but with with no nodes of the convergence fact convergence fact the convergence rate. The convergence, convergence rate will be not affected if we choose a suitable uh, parameter alpha. Okay, the last uh, variant is the Kirillov variant. We can send the optimum, con optimum control of wave equation, wave equation. For time discretization, we use the uh, implicit leapfrog method. <coughs> Okay, this is a set point. The set point. Uh, 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 set, uh, the set point matrix for the forward and the backward system. <coughs> and the B B one and the B two are two two top list matrix. Yeah, top list matrix. <coughs> for the we saw the uh, the the set point uh, the set point system by the by the by the uh, subspace method uh, by design uh, uh, some efficient precondition pre pre p. The precondition p is constructed by replacing the replacing the uh, matrix b b one by c one and uh, replacing um, uh, b two by the matrix c c two. Both b c one and c two are uh, circular matrix, and we also need to replace. Uh, those two diagonal matrix by the identity matrix IT. <coughs> okay, for use for using the precondition, we first need to separate out this part, and then we 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 write we write uh, the precondition uh, matrix P as uh, P two tilde P times the times this part. So for uh, any input vector R. We compute S by the following two steps, and uh, 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 it is clear the first step is the major computation. Interestingly, for this part, for this part, we can we can use the diagonalization procedure. The idea is to diagonalize diagonalize the matrix tilde P as as this as this. <coughs> we have the Explicit formula for the eigenvector matrix of this of this matrix. 
the eigenvector matrix is uh, of this form. This is a, a Fourier matrix, Fourier matrix. So FFT is, is still uh, uh, <coughs> applicable. Applicable. You know, the diagonalization of uh, this matrix of is not unique because for any invertible diagonal matrix uh, QD, the factory, uh, factorization still holds by replacing V by V QD. <coughs> the above diagonalization is, is optimal because the condition number of this, of the eigenvector matrix equals to one. This is already proved. Okay, my talk is finished. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>